Hi, it's Jenny from Buggy Baby, and today I'm having a look at two bedside cribs. I've got the Tutti Bambini Cozy Bedside Crib, and I've got the Chico next to me, the original version, to have a look at. We're going to be looking at this in the sand colour, and this retails at just over £170. There are other colour options available, and the price differs slightly on which colour that you choose. So you're going to use this from birth and you can use it up until your baby can sit unaided. So that's normally somewhere around six months and you can use this to co-sleep with. It's going to go right against your bed and attach to it or you can actually use it as a standalone crib as well. So we're going to get the product out of the box. We're going to assemble it and then we can have a look at all of the features that it has. So let's get this out of the box. Okay, so the Chico next to me was one of the original bedside co-sleeper cribs. So when this first came out, it was one of the first ones that started the trend of the bedside cribs because now lots of brands have them. So we'll have a look at this one. You can buy different versions of this, so you can buy a larger version and there's a couple of other ones that you can buy that do slightly different things but this is the original one that they came out with get into the box okay now I'm going to tip this out and then we'll have a look at what comes included and we'll have a look for the instructions to get it all assembled so this is what you'll find when you remove it from the box and let's have a look here because I think there's going to be quite a lot of assembling that needs to be done for this. So that looks like the actual crib part and then we're going to have to put a frame onto that. Okay, this is the bag that you put it in if you want to travel around with it, which is really useful. Here is the parts to the frame, the instructions, and these here are the straps that you'll need to use if you're going to butt it up against your bed so that you can secure it in place. And importantly, another part of the frame, the mattress, a nice Thick size mattress. So I'll have a look at the instructions and we'll get this put together. Right, let's go for it. So you can see there from the instructions, you're meant to just follow the pictures. Um, but if we have a look, you can kind of see straight away how we're going to put this together. So I hope you can see here. We've got this little part here, this little hole is where the little silver pin is going to go into and secure it. So obviously this is one of the legs and what we're putting in is the frame that's going to secure the actual crib part. So let's slot that in and that should click into place. If you can see there, it's gone through. There we go. Okay, so we've slotted them into place. I'm going to need to do some adjusting so that they're at the same height. So I'll work that one out in a moment. And now we're going to get the um, actual crib part onto the frame. I've got it level. So to do that, you're going to use this grey lever here. You push it up and then it drops down or drops up into place according to what level you want it. So if you can see here, we've got an indicator. And there's six different heights that you can put it in. So next up, we're ready now to put the crib onto the frame. And if you can see, we've got here this grey clasp that's going to fit into place on the frame. And I can see here that there's some material that we're going to put over the bar. So let's give this a go. Right, so... I'm slotting over, if you can see, turn myself around, this bit of material. 
and then I'm going to pop this into place there we go it's one side and we're going to do the same on the other side so this goes over there we go hope you can see if my position's right here we're just going to push that into place there we go so that is the crib on and I can see we've got some little straps here to secure it further so I'm gonna strap this round there's a little button there pops into place there's gonna be one on the other side there we go pop that into place and next up we can get our mattress in here we go so we're all up and ready to go and now we want to have a look at how we get the side down and um, we'll look at some of the other features on there that will help you if you're going to have it right up against your bed at this point, if you wanted to, you could just use it as a standalone crib. So this is exactly as it would be if that was how you would like to use it. And obviously you can still just adjust the heights. And you can see down there, there's wheels, which is gonna help you move it around. But the reason why people buy these cribs is to have it as a co-sleeper. So let's have a look at how we do that. You can see here, we've got some zips on either side. So this is the side that's gonna come down and we can also see on here you've got this little part which is so that there's a buffer between the baby and your mattress that's the safety part that you need so we're going to pull these zips down and this part of the frame is going to come away As you can see here there's two parts to the frame and this bar is going to come away now on here trying to get it so you can see you can just about make out there's a little bit that you push in and then you pull on the frame and that releases the bar now once you have it in this position you attach this here it's to keep it out of the way do the other side there we go and there you have your co-sleeper crib and this would at this point be ready for you to put it on to adjust it so that it's right next to your bed that's where the straps come in now i'm not going to use these but the straps would go on under here I'm trying to get to the right position so you can see here you'd attach the straps and it's so that you can wrap it around your bed frame and keep it really snug and secure and not only with the straps, you also have here, the leg moves, there you go. So you, again, you can adjust that so that it's sitting in the right position to get it as close to your bed as possible. Okay, so you can see here, we have got absolutely loads of room for your baby. As well as keeping them snug, it's going to give them plenty of space and it's going to fit, hopefully, very nicely against your bed. There's no real bells and whistles to this one. It's exactly as you see it. Um, some have like a little shelf underneath if you want to pop things on. Um, some different, some co-sleepers do slightly different things, but this is the original version. So um, there's no bells and whistles, but it does exactly what you need it to do if you want to have your baby right up next to you sleeping. So some people might choose to have this rather than a Moses basket. You might choose to have this rather than a cot to start with. Um, and if you are feeding in the night, um, especially if you're breastfeeding, it is really useful to have them up close and then to be able to pop them straight back into the crib. And also it means that you can keep a hand on them if you need to, which some babies find really comforting to sleep. So let's 
very good quality it's nice and sturdy as I said the mattress is nice and thick so your baby's going to be very comfortable on there and actually it's really easy to put up um, they're a bit scary sometimes things like this because you worry about how hard it will be to assemble it but this was no problems and it's very easy to get the side down so you shouldn't have any issues at all with this one so we'll have a look now at putting the cot in a different height position why it's like this so as I said you just use around here these grey clasps and you would just put it up to whatever height you want and put it down to whatever height you want and one of the good things about this is that you can have it in a slight recline position which is great if your baby suffers from reflex uh, reflux sorry and some babies even if they don't have reflux don't like lying flat so I'll show you that there we go obviously you don't want to slant it too much um, you just want to have it one height down if you're going to do that but it will help if they're congested or have reflux or just generally you're a bit fussy about lying flat I'm going to put this back up now so you can see how we do that so we're just going to pull these bars out from underneath there we go there's one there's the other one and then you would pop them back into place up here I'll just move the material out of the way to do that and then you would just pull your zips back up And at that point you now have it again as a standalone crib so if you wanted to move your baby downstairs during the day you could easily just pop this downstairs have it as a standalone crib and you can also travel with it as we looked at at the start it does come with a travel bag um, but because it's so easy to take apart and assemble it would be great for if you're you know staying at someone's house off on holiday you could easily take this with you this retails at just under £159 and we're having a look at the oak and charcoal version of this. There are other variations of colour available um, and the price differs according to what colour that you're going to choose. So this bedside crib, you can use this as a co-sleeper. You can also use it as a standalone crib if you wish to and you can use it from birth up until your child sits unaided so that's normally somewhere around six months and you can see there it's got warnings on the box so it's something to bear in mind that it might not fit every single bed so that is something you'll want to check so this one here is saying that it only fits um, adult beds that are between 19.5 and 22.5 inches from the floor to the top of the adult mattress um, so it should fit most beds but it is worth checking before you purchase it so we're going to get the box open and we'll have a look at how it comes inside the box and we'll get it up and then we can have a look at the features of it so it's out of the box and you can see that it comes in a very handy travel case so that you can transport it with you looks very smart it is quite heavy that is because it's got um, wood as part of the frame so that does make it a slightly heavier option than some of the other bedside cribs so if we get this open oh this looks nice this looks like it's be very smart oh look at that so i can see straight away You've got lovely materials here, really nice oak colour. This is like a linen effect, which is going to be the outside of the crib by the look of it, or maybe not actually, that looks like it might be a shelf at the bottom. And here we have the mattress. So it's quite a thin mattress, but perfect for your small baby. And let's get everything out and see what we've got. So. That does look like it's a, a little shelf unit that goes at the bottom. Here we've got straps which you're going to use to attach the bedside crib to your bed. And it looks like it's all attached as one. So if we get the instructions out, 
we'll have a look and see how we get this standing up. I'm going for it without looking at the instructions because it looks like you move these legs out okay stand it up and that's it done in place that is incredibly easy so there's really no assembly by the look of it that we need to do we'll have to make sure that it's all stable and in place there we go pull those legs out go around to the other side pull the legs out and then i think by putting the shelf in at the bottom that's what's going to make this stable so let's do that so i feel like we're just gonna turn this frame round let's velcro it into place that one's in place and maybe we should have done this when it was the other way around but we'll carry on pop that mattress in there and then I feel like we're just going to click it into place. So let's go for it. That's one bit. Yep. There we go. Okay, so before I push it down, you can see I've got the white frame into place. This little silver pin is going to be in this part here so let's push it down there we go can you see the silver pin's gone through and that means that you're going to be able to click back on this to pull that out of the frame now if you've ever played around with anything before where it's got these little silver pins that go into place you all know that they're normally quite hard to get out and you normally have to use some sort of item to push the silver pin in without trying to damage your skin and pull the frame out. So you don't have that problem on this one, which is a really nice design because you're just going to use this little grey button and that's going to allow you to pull the frame out, which is a great feature. Now I'm going to move around to the other side and pop the other side of the shelf into the legs. Right, so I've got the white frame from the shelf in place and I'm going to click it down. There's one, there's the other one. And there you have a very handy shelf. So you're gonna be able to use that for nappies, muslins, whatever you need so everything's close to hand. Right, let's pop the mattress in properly. You can see you've got really nice lining now I can feel that this is really padded, the lining. So it's going to be nice and cosy. Not only does it look nice, it's going to feel nice as well for your baby. And you have this mesh part here as well. So it's very, very smart looking. There we go. So you could obviously just have this as a standalone crib. But to be honest, if you're buying one of these, you're probably buying it because you want to use it as a co-sleeper. So we're gonna have a look at how that part works. Right, so I can see here we've got zips. So we're definitely gonna have to get those zips down. And then if you have a look on the frame, if you can just see under here, we've got a little button. And we're gonna, we've got one on both sides. So I'm gonna press on those. And that pops the frame out. There we go. So actually it slides the frame, if you can see the mechanism there. So it slides on to get it back into place. And then you would press that button to bring it back out. And that's the side down. I don't know if it secures anywhere. It may do, we can have a look at that in a bit. And then obviously you need to have this little edge. So all of the co-sleepers have a slight little edge because you need to have a buffer between the 
co-sleeping crib and your bed and that's just the safety feature so you would then at this point use your straps to pop the bed next to your own bed and get it all nice and secure and you can adjust the height so there's six different height adjustments and we can see here we've got a handle we've got an indicator so we know we're on the lowest height at the moment and we would just press the little levers in around here and you've got it into place now I would imagine we can recline it yep so you can recline it down if you're going to use a recline you only want to have it down one lower position and what that's going to do is create enough of a recline that if your child suffers from reflux or they're congested or they don't like lying flat you would be able to have them at a slight angle which will hopefully ease that for them and help them sleep better so we talked before about whether there was a way to secure this so there is i can see here i've got some velcro and i can feel some velcro underneath the crib so you can just pop that up onto the velcro and you can do the other side as well and it will just keep it out of the way there we go get that into place Put the velcro there there we are okay and all of the materials can be taken off and we can see here that we've got a zip that goes all the way around all the way across here and what that's going to do if you can see is it's going to allow us to remove all of this fabric on the outside so that you can wash it which is a great feature and then let's pop this back up now okay so we're going to slot it into place slot into place we can do our zips back up oh a little bit missing there there we go there we are okay so that's all back into place and we've got it there again as a freestanding crib it's really nice it looks really smart um it wouldn't look out of place in a really smart nursery so if you decided that you wanted to have it in a nursery rather than your bedroom it would look lovely it would look as equally as smart in your own room it looks really of really good quality um, some bedside cribs have got a more plasticky feel to them this has a very upmarket feel to it and it is so easy to put up that you're not going to have any problems at all popping this up and taking it apart if you wanted to put it back in the travel bag and travel with it I'm going to have a look at the Chico next to me and the Tutti Bambini bedside crib next to each other so we can directly compare the two now first off there is a price difference this chico next to me is 178 pounds and the co the tutti bambini is 158 pounds there are variations in price depending on what color you choose and we can see they look very different so they have a lot of the same features but they have a completely different look so we can see that the Chico next to me, we've got very different fabrics. It's a very robust fabric. It's not particularly soft, but it is very robust and it's going to be quite easy to wipe clean by the look of it. Now, the fabric that we have on the Tutti Bambini, we've got a lovely linen look effect here and we've got an oak effect frame as well so in my opinion if i was buying one of these on looks alone i would choose the tutti bambini you can see on first sight it is a more attractive version of a bedside crib they both do do very similar things the only difference is really is that on the tutti bambini you've got this nice shelf here which is very useful and on the Chico next to me, you have 
little wheels to help you move the bedside crib around and the feet also adjustable so they will move in if you are um, putting it up against your bed which will help you get a nice snug fit. We can see we don't have wheels and we don't have adjustable legs on the Tutti Bambini. Now both have a mesh side, in fact if I turn this round there we go. They both have a mesh window and obviously they both come down so that you can co-sleep with them. So I'm going to move them both down so you can see how they're done. I need to turn that back round for this. Okay. Right, so on both of them you would use the zips on the co-sleeper side. And then on this one here, you pull the frame out. So if I'm going to show you here, there's a little bit here that you press in on the piece of plastic. You pull it out and then you would unzip that fully. Attach it to the bottom here. There we go. Okay. And you would be ready to use that as a co-sleeper once you've strapped it up against your bed. Now to do the Tutti Bambini, we also use the zips. Put it down. Slightly different this one. We've got two little gray buttons on either side. We're going to simply press them in and slide it up so it doesn't pull out it slides up and then that goes down okay so that's both of them with their sides down ready to use as a co-sleeper now again you can see straight off that the fabric of the tutti bambini appears more padded because it is more padded and softer and probably slightly more attractive design. With the mattresses, the next to me Chico has a very thick mattress on a hard base because this part here is very flimsy so the hard base at the bottom of the mattress is what's making it sturdy. The mattress on the Tutti Bambini, we've already got a hard base at the bottom of the crib so we have a thinner mattress but really they're both doing the same job so there's no difference there they're both very easy to get the sides off personally again i prefer the tutti bambini it's a much cleaner and easier way to get the side down in comparison to the chico next to me which i found i had to give a little bit of a tug and a pull to it's just not such a straightforward mechanism so I've popped the sides up on both of them so we can have a look at them again in their freestanding mode. And just um, a few things to note, you're going to get the same usage out of both of them. They are both suitable from birth up until your child is sitting unaided or they turn six months, whichever is sooner. And at that point, you would need to move them into a proper size cot. So there you have it. Chico next to me, Tutti Bambini bedside crib. In my opinion, if I was buying one, I would go for the um, Tutti Bambini all round better. I prefer the mechanism of taking the side down. It's a lot cleaner, a lot easier to do. And I prefer the look of the Tutti Bambini and I also prefer the materials. So I think one of the advantages of the Chico next to me is that you can move the legs. So that will help you butt it right up against your bed. But personally, if I was choosing one, I would go for the Tutti Bambini. I hope you found the review useful. I hope it's given you enough information to make the choice of what you'd like to go for. And if you do need any more information, you can go on to buggybaby.co.uk.